Hi, uh, my name is JJ, and I'm a senior on the SBU Rung Team. JJ, team's back in action after a two-week break from competition. You're at the Weira Championships, Western Intercollegiate Rowing Association Championships, for those uh, unfamiliar with that. Uh, your thoughts on getting back on the water and racing this week? Uh, I'm really excited. We've yeah, kind of had some more time to ourselves the past few weeks, and now we're back in competition seeing some, some rivals that we need to beat. And this is just a fun event because our whole team gets to go and every boat gets to compete. Essentially, this is uh, an unofficial West Coast Championships, as the, the best boats in the West are in there, and you'll um, see some familiar faces. Uh, one of the unique features that's in the Sacramento area on Lake Natoma is they don't have docks there. You do a, a beach launch and, um, you know, and uh, disembark on the shells <laughs> on the beach as well. How, what does that wrinkle do for, the, for you? Yeah, so it's it's hard for those who have never done it before. Basically, we're all holding the boat and we drop it in the water and then we put our oars in and then we have like two people at a time get in the boat and the person in the stern and the person in the bow stay in the water. And then the person in the stern will get in their seat and the person in the bow has to physically push the boat out while jumping in their seat and sometimes can be a little chaotic. Um, you know, it really just requires a good bow seat, but in uh, in California it's fun because the water's warm and it's warm outside. Very nice. Well, uh, only four current Falcons have rowed at the Weir Championships because uh, in 2020 and 20 they were canceled due to the pandemic. So 2019 was the last championships. You were one of only four Falcons to compete. What do you remember about that regatta? Yeah, so I was in the Varsity Four for that regatta. Um, which was really fun, and it was fun because we were competing against a bunch of different schools like D2, D3, D1. Um, there was a big mix of competition, so it was like Western was our big competition, but, but we were also racing some fun other teams, and we got to see our speed against them. Um, and then I remember just being a novice. It was so fun watching the JV8 win their trophy and the novice four going off and like some of my teammates had to race four times and yeah. just it was such a crazy day. We were all exhausted, but it was warm. It was so fun. And there's like tents and vendors and hundreds of teams like high school, like all the teams and so it was fun like I got a t-shirt and stuff that you don't normally get at small regattas. Yep this is a very a big regatta and now the Pac-12 teams are there that weekend as well and like I say a lot of clubs good event. Uh, your team will be focused on the Division II opponents and uh, two of them you've seen already Western Washington and Humboldt State will be there. You're ranked as are they. This is a really big weekend uh, when it comes to Placement and selection for the NCAA championships. So how are you approaching the, this Saturday and Sunday competition? Yeah, so so basically it's it's us Western and previously Humboldt um, and now Cal now Poly. Cal Poly, I always forget. Yes. Um, so so us three, it really is like a grab bag. Like this event is really important to see who gets their bow ball ahead um, and who's second even in that. Um, but for the next three races, we're going to be going up against them. So, and well, I guess two, but for the next three, we're going to be seeing Western and Cal Poly. So, so it's really important that at this race, we establish our speed, our dominance. And, you know, if, if not, we have also another race coming up, but, but this weekend is really important to show our speed on, against them. Is. We mentioned earlier, your team's had a couple weeks off from competition. That follows a really hectic and strenuous schedule for you. And in March, you travel all the way to Florida to compete. The next weekend, you went to Oklahoma City to compete against top-ranked and national champion uh, Central Oklahoma. And then the week after that, you host to the Falcon Regatta with uh, Cal Poly Humboldt and Western Washington, some great racing. What has the team done in these two weeks uh, to improve its speed? Yeah, so we've kind of made some changes with our lineups, um, which is expected, you know. And uh, we've also done, uh, we've focused on our speed individually a little bit with our land 2K. Um, so we do a 2K on the ERG and um, see where we can go. We had a lot of PRs, a lot of novices, freshmen, PRing. Um, I was able to PR. I got myself on the record board. Right. Um, went sub 720, which I'm pretty proud of as a senior. As so you should be. Yeah, so that was fun, um, you know, to be able to lay down some speed on the erg and just, like, show that we're progressing throughout the season and getting faster. Great. Um, 
you mentioned your senior high, and you have, you know, your your rise through the program has been terrific. You mentioned you uh, have put up a PR in that land 2K. What what will you take from this experience with SB Rowing? Um, this last year has been challenging for sure. I think, you know, I'm not in the boat that I want to be in, and I'm I feel like I'm still progressing. I'm still getting faster, but I'm not where I want to be um, and so that's been hard but just taking away the fact that like I'm doing this for my team and for me and I have reached goals way higher than I ever expected to reach and this program has given me that outlet to do that so like I'm ending this season just so proud of myself and where I've gotten and and I feel like in no matter what boat I'm in I can contribute towards getting our team to those goals. Yep, and you're in that varsity four that uh, c competes and qualifies for the NCAA championships along with the eight. Uh, but rowing isn't the only thing you're doing here, obviously. Uh, first, uh, you have academics. First, tell us where you're from. Um, I grew up kind of South Seattle in like Normandy Park, Kaverian area. Great. Yeah. And why did you choose to come to South Pacific? I, I love it here in Washington and wanted to stay close but also a little far away from home. So, yeah. Right. Academically, tell us what you're majoring in. Uh, nursing. Yeah. yeah. Very highly acclaimed program here at SPU, but also a very challenging program. How have you balanced that with also competing and rowing? It's been hard. I'm like very thankful for my coaches working with me and, and also my professors. And, you know, the, the hardest part is scheduling your clinicals, which are times when you have to go for eight or 12 hours to a hospital and, and you can't get around that. Like you can't move those days and you can't come late. So, so scheduling those days on days when maybe the team is on land doing a lift and I can make that up on a different day kind of thing. Great. And what is your uh, target? Like when will you graduate and what do you see after that? Yeah, so I'll graduate in June. Um, with my BSN and then I have to take the NCLEX exam in order to get my license. Um, but this quarter I've been placed in um, the ER at UW Northwest and so I've been working there um, every week and I love it and I really would love to work there or somewhere in the ER. That's my plan. Is that something you can, uh, getting an ER shift, that first one you work, that you can just go in there and be comfortable or is it is it uh, jarring at all to start? <laughs> It was a little just shocking with the sheer like amount of patients that I saw in one day and the crazy things that I saw. But but I love you know I love the adrenaline. I love you know that's why I do rowing like <laughs> very fast paced like so I loved it. Adrenaline junkie, yeah. nice. And lastly, uh, nursing you you you've been now exposed to emergency room. What uh, what are you leaning toward? What type of nursing do you see yourself going into? Yeah, I think emergency is where I want to be. Um, I wasn't sure until I started kind of this internship. In the, in the last quarter of nursing school, basically, you're placed with a nurse and you work 12, 12-hour 12 shifts with them throughout the course. And so that's, that's your class. That's your internship for your last quarter. So, so I've, you know, I've had a really great preceptor and, and I've really loved it and could see myself there. Yeah. Great. JJ, well, thank you so much for your time. Um, congratulations on a great season so far and good luck this weekend. Thank you.